As a leading provider of universal broadcast panels, you can count on us to provide RCP panels for camera shading in different sizes, form factors, and even perspectives. So for instance, the classic RCP would be this one that has an analog joystick that sticks in a, in a mechanically fixed position. So this is good only for a single camera, because if you change camera address on the RCP, this would be out of sync with your camera out in the field. Now, we have a solution to that, so a modification of the classic RCP with a motorized fader instead. But we also have had for quite a while, the we call this product the CCU. So it has an 8 camera selector over here. It has knobs for adjusting colors, colors, iris, master black, and the menu button here. So today, I'm presenting you the Colorfly. And Colorfly is our newest multi-camera controller. So why would you... Why would you stick with a big clunky panel with mechanically fixed joysticks if you want to do multi-camera control in a single unit? Why not look at Colorfly where you get all these things done in the right way? You have a small form factor, it doesn't have to be bigger than this. You have uh, sliders that are dynamically um, available for, for, um, for, for multiple cameras. So as I'll show you in this case, uh, this interface can easily transform itself to more than the four cameras that you have in the default case. So let's walk through this, this product. Basically, this is a camera selector. So camera one, and when I press camera one, you see that the, the panel lights up and all these settings will now be related to camera number one. So you see this would be red, green, and blue lift, or basically the black dimension uh, for camera one. Camera two, when I press this one, and then we have here a menu. So as I go through this menu, it changes what happens up here. We'll take a close up look at that later. And here I have some uh, file stores where I can recall and set settings. And this one is the shift key that you will press. And then you'll see the faders over here will adjust themselves. So here we basically have instant access to Iris for camera. Now it's camera one, two, three, and four. And now it's camera five, six, seven, and eight associated with master black. So Iris, master black, and this is set in the displays. I think that's just awesome. Now, in this case, um, I, I just want to give you some background. What is it connected to? Well, the Colorfly can actually shade cameras from lots of different manufacturers. It can even shade robotic cameras. It's not limited. Why? Because if you have watched just a few of our videos, you know that Unisketch is the software that runs on any of our controllers. And it allows you to connect to the device cores or to devices that you have installed support for on the controller. Now in this case, and because it's easy to demonstrate and also historically true, um, we have um, hooked it up with an ATEM switcher from Blackmagic which will relay camera information, um, or shading information to cameras downline um, in, in, uh, of the ATEM switcher. Okay, so the software you're looking at right now is the ATEM switcher's control panel for CCU shading. So back in the days, you would have to take your mouse and then drag this up and down to adjust iris. But see, what happens now is that you can do that mechanically over here. So if we look at the panel again, and I am adjusting iris. You can see the fader is following the adjustments I do. And the same for channel number two and so forth. So if you see that I'm now pulling the slider over here, you see those movements are replicated in the software. Of course they are, and why shouldn't they? Now, okay, the cool thing is, if I just scroll a little bit to the side here, we should see other cameras out there. And when I press the shift key, then you'll see now this slider is for camera five, the one uh, labeled crane and also the master black up here the master black is what you see in this parameter um, and when I turn this knob you'll see that this value is going up and down it's also the horizontal move of of the joystick here adjusted by the master black knob up here so master black for camera five six and seven I go with the shift key and I scroll back here I can see this is master black now for camera number one you see that over here as I turn this knob so, uh, and, and so forth. Okay, so that's Iris, Master Black, the most important things that you need access to. So what about all the other things? I suggest we zoom in and take a look at the menu section where you can adjust all the color parameters of the associated cameras. So now we are in a close-up look on the uh, settings section of the Colorfly. 
So um, we have the we use this one as a menu selector. Um, we have nice labels. It shows us exactly what these items are. Those are, of course, user changeable. So if you want to reconfigure this unit, you can have your own labels shown in these uh, tiles. And um, I'm now in the black section. So all these knobs will adjust black. And notice how the background color of the encoders are so useful because you can see, okay, this is red. We don't need to read in the display what this is. We know it's red for the black. We know this is red, green, and blue for the white, for the gamma. And then when I go to image settings, you see this is changing a little bit. So now we have purple and we have some kind of uh, bluish color over here. So this would be hue for camera number two as it's selected, uh, saturation, uh, contrast, and so on. Now, if you want to see this, uh, camera two is selected. Let's go to the camera section in the ATEM software and open up. Uh, how is it we open up? Is it like this? Um, I kind of forgot. There we go. Okay, so we are on camera two. And as I move saturation, you can see the the slider here for saturation is moving. And again, as it's uh, customarily done, we have a perfect correspondence between the devices we communicate to so that values can be sent either way. Uh, contrast settings right here and details over here. So if I uh, move this one, I can change details of the camera from medium, high and low and so forth. Uh, settings would be a white balance, uh, shutter speeds can be adjusted here, white balance settings here, sensor gain uh, can be set here. And you see all those values um, are reflected um, in the software right here. You see here's uh, the shutter speed and the white balance of camera two. And then finally we have the user section which is currently blank because I haven't put anything in since you are the user. And with the use of Unisketch, you can make Colorfly do whatever you want on those remaining encoders uh, in the user section uh, if you have need for it. Okay, I hope you like Colorfly. It's gonna be uh, like the, the future version of our old CCU, which we still do sell, uh, if you prefer that interface for some reason, but Colorfly is just gonna rock the world and make the best possible multi-camera RCP surface you can imagine. Let's get this